Okay. Here we are. I cleaned that cover up all right. I could probably polish that one if I wanted. Make it shine. That one shines a little bit. But the main thing is, is right now, I have all of the lifters are soaking. They're standing up and they're soaking. Uh, they're actually bubbling. As soon as I stuck them in there, they started bubbling. So they're filling up. And while that was going on, <laughs> I managed to get that off. That was a pain in the ass. I, mean, I had to put a vice grip down here and a vice grip up here to hold the uh, pulley, this flat pulley right here. And then take a hamp, that sledgehammer and put that wrench on there and knock it off. That sucker was on there. So tomorrow, I'll take this out, fresh wash it real good, and I'll take the pump, clean it up real good. And I'll do the same thing with the oil pan. And the same thing with the intake. Uh, I gotta take the uh, injectors off because I'm getting I'm putting new injectors on. So the fuel rail, the injectors, and this sending unit right here will come off. And then I'll take it out there and pressure wash it. And I need to get some uh, chem tool carb cleaner or something and clean the throttle body out. Clean it up real good. And I plan on replacing every sensor on this thing, but the first thing is, is do the bottom of the motor and the side of the motor, get those done, get this uh, on the exhaust, get those uh, oxygen sensors, you know. I think it's got two on this truck, I don't remember. But all that said and done with, I also played with this thing. I took the recoil off right here, and then I... Took the little tabs, loosen them up, open them up, and then I pulled the recoil out, pulled the spool and the spring, and I completely cleaned all this really good. It had a bunch of dirt and shit in there and oil. And I cleaned the spring, and I put it back together in the housing. And then I took this, uh, it's the clutch is what that is up there. It's got a little thing that sticks out about like that. It's got four squares on it. And it's, <clears throat> it's got a dust cap that goes on it. Well, inside that dust cap, there's six bearings. Okay, and that thing, interlock. you can look it up on YouTube, but it had gum in there, and the bearings had a little uh, gummy and a rust spot. You can see where it was just sitting. This thing is set outside, that's what it did. <clears throat> and it collected water on it, so she'll crank right up. Uh, I'm having to keep the gas cut off with the needle valve because what it wants to do is it wants to uh, just flood out, just completely come out of the choke right here, continually drain the tank. Uh, I guess I need new screens or something in there, I don't know, but damn thing works. And what I'll do is I'll crank it up real quick for you. Well, let's check it out. Will it sit right here? Probably not. Right. I gotta find a place to put you. There you go. Right there. So, about one and a quarter turns gets it started, and then open it up another quarter. So it's been about one and a half turns, and she just purrs like a little kitten. <laughs> My bench screwdriver. I bent that trying to take the. Uh, I think it was a little low on fuel earlier. There we go. Give it a little choke. Choke's on. Let's see if you're on. Now I can't see what I'm done. There you go. Hopefully you won't fall over all the excitement. Get rid of the explosive device. Couple pulls. I want to smell it. Let's open it up just a tad. Open it up just a little tad more.
floating gas out there it goes see it's coming out right here so I'll just take and turn the sucker off for now it scrapes up rugs and I don't mind doing this just to get it cranked up to be able to till I'll do that <laughs> yeah I'm not spending a hundred something dollars for a carburetor and the little screens on the bottom is ten dollars a piece I don't want to spend that kind of money either. Let's open that back up. Uh, it could be just a cap too. I don't know. It's shit. Who knows? But she runs. Runs like a little champ. She cranked right up. A couple pulls, you know. But hey. Freebie? Let's see. I got $8 in both those belts. They was $4 each. Uh, $405, $408, and $9, something like that. And then, uh, that's it. And I had the carburetor gasket that I made. Uh, I just took it apart and cleaned it real good. And she runs. So, uh, that baby still purrs like a little kitten. This purrs like a little kitten. And I got a brand new water pressure line for my pressure washer. Boy, that thing works like a champ, man. Tell you, it's got more pressure than uh, 2,500 pounds, I assure you. Yeah, because <laughs> it's hard to hold that handle when you got it on there. But I even bought this really cool ass little thing hey, so I can reach under it and adjust the tip. And I have all the other tips. That's just a pretty cool tip because you can adjust it by just spinning this part right here. Uh, that one back there. I haven't even tried to crank it, but the guy told me it runs. I believed him. He said this one didn't run, and I believed him, and I made it run. So she purred like a little kitten. Uh, and then we got the other. Uh, it's like a saw. It's a, it's one of them dr walk behind weed eaters with a saw blade on it. <laughs> Cut brush. We got that. Yeah, that was a freebie. And this is free. Uh, that was uh, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Hey, well, I got a whole shop of equipment in here now, damn it. <laughs> All right, y'all, peace. Uh, it's on tomorrow, hopefully. They'll have the, mach the motor machined, and as long as I can get back here without it getting just soaking wet, I'm good. Peace. Nanny, nanny, shot bot, and all that other good shit. Bye.